Want to create a professional email signature with clickable links? I'm Mai and on this channel I help you master Canva one simple step at a time. In this video I will show you how to design your signature in Canva, add it to Gmail and the best part, it's completely free, even with a free account. So let's dive in. You can create an email signature with a free account, so to show you that it's possible, I'm using my free account today. First, let me show you the email signature templates. I'll search for them here, and you will see a variety of options. Actually, 2,376 options, which is a lot to choose from. You can scroll through and pick a template you like or get inspiration for how you want your signature to look like. The structure is similar to a business card actually, but it depends on what you want to include. The email signature templates are 400 on 200 px which is a bit larger than what I need. If I want it to be clickable with different links, I'll need to add the icons separately underneath the signature itself. Because of that, in this tutorial, I will create a design from scratch. Even though there are plenty of templates here, some for pro accounts and some free, you can use these as an inspiration and create your own. I want to make one that's a little shorter in height, so I will include the icons afterwards. I'll click on create a design and choose custom size. The width will be 400px like the template. You will see it suggests the default email signature size, but I'll set the height to 150px to include the icons afterwards. I will show you exactly how it works later in the video. I'll zoom out a bit and let's start creating the email signature. The first thing I'll add is my profile photo. I'll search for circle frame. Go to frames and choose this one. I'll add my photo into it, but I think the border is too thick here, so I'll create my own. I'll delete it, add a new circle frame without a border and place my photo inside. Then I'll add another circle, change its color and center it perfectly with the frame. I'll group them together and resize it. Next, I want to add a line to separate the image from the text, giving it a more professional look. I'll press L on my keyboard, reduce the line weight to one and rotate it 90 degrees. I'll adjust the line length so it matches the circle's size. Now for the text, I'll start with my name, I'll make sure the text is aligned to the left since all the text will follow this alignment. I'll make it bold, increase the size to 15 and set it to all uppercase. Next, I'll duplicate the text and add my title, account director at bold PMM. I'll turn off the uppercase setting, change the font to Poppins Medium, Set the size to 11 and change the color to match the brand's orange. I'll duplicate the text again, set the color back to black, decrease the size to 9 and paste in the additional titles I want to display in the signature. I'll adjust everything to look neat, aligning the text to the right of the line at the same distance as the image and that's it for this step. As you can see, it's not the final result yet. I haven't added any icons for links and I didn't leave much room on the sides. It might look a little big, but remember, it will be displayed in your email, so you want the text to be bold and easy to read. Now I'll name the design file and download it to my computer so I can upload it to Gmail later. I'll download it as a PNG file. Before we move on, here's a quick tip for designing your profile photo. 
I created mine with an orange circle border from scratch, but there are many fun options available. Search for profile picture in Canva and you will find lots of cool templates for profile photo designs. Some are free to use and some are for pro accounts. You can use one of these and paste it into your email signature design if you need some inspiration. Now we're ready to move on to the next part, creating icons for the email signature links. I'll create another design from scratch, this time at 50 on 50 px, super small on purpose. I'll name it signature icons and let's add the icons. I have prepared these icons beforehand to match the brand colors. I'll add each one to a separate page. The first one will link to the main website. The second will link to a specific service we offer, which is connecting people to podcast interviews. I'll copy and paste the first icon to ensure they are on the same size. All right, looking good. I'll duplicate the page and add the last icon, which is LinkedIn. I'll make it a bit larger. Perfect. Once you're ready with all the icons, which can be anything you need from social media links, websites, or really anything, let's download them. I'll download all the pages as PNGs. Since I'm using the free version, I cannot download the icons with transparent backgrounds. It's not a big issue because email backgrounds are typically white. However, for a polished look, especially for dark mode, you can use Remove BG to remove the backgrounds for free. Let me just show you a little example of how it works. You just upload the image and then you can download it without the background. Now that I have everything ready, the signature and the icons, it's time to set it up in Gmail. Go to your Gmail account, then go to settings in the top right corner and click on see all settings. Scroll down to the signature section. Click create new and give your signature a name. You can create multiple signatures here, so choose a relevant name to keep things organized. Now I can add the Canva design signature and the icons. Click insert image, upload the email signature and it will appear in the editor. To add some space between the signature and the text in emails, position the cursor before the image and press enter twice to create the space. Next, I'll add the icons. Click insert image again. My icons are already in Google Drive, but you can upload them directly from your computer, obviously. I'll add the first icon. It's perfectly sized at 50 on 50 px. I'll add the second and third icons. They might appear blurry in the preview because they are small, but don't worry, they will look fine in the email. Finally, let's add the links. Select the first icon. Click link and paste the URL. Repeat for the other icons, the website, the podcast service, and LinkedIn. If you can click the link button, press command and K instead. One last step, set the default signature. I want this signature to appear in new emails, so I'll select it under signature defaults. You can also set it to appear in replies if you like. When everything is ready, click Save Changes and let's test it out. I'll compose a new email. You can see the signature here with the space at the top. I'll send it to myself and test the links to make sure they are working. Alright, here is the email I sent. Let's click on the first link to see if it takes me to the Bolt PMM main website. Perfect, it works. Now let's check the second link for Bold Voice. Yep, that works too. Finally, let's test the LinkedIn profile link. Oh, I'm not logged into any account here, so let me copy and paste it into another browser.
and yes it works and that's a wrap for this video thank you so much for watching if you want to speed up your design process check out my next tutorial on creating a canva brand kit see you there